what I've learned through experience, through sitting down with people younger than me, older than me, and I think Shalom was kind of hinting at this, is like it usually comes from some kind of false image that you have of yourself that you begin to start to use sex and all things sex as a drug, basically. Like that's usually the door, oftentimes, not the only door, but that's usually the one that, you know, allows sex and sexual addiction as a drug to enter people's lives, you know? I can specifically talk about like guys, I know women can usually say the same thing like when they're rationalizing, why did I participate in those kind of things? It's because usually they had like a low self-esteem or a bad self-image mm -hmm. about themselves and that's why they want to engage. For guys, it's almost always the same thing. If you want to talk about the context of porn, most guys just do it because they feel it's out of a sense of like hopelessness a lot of the time or a false self-image self of like, I'm not going to be anywhere. I'm not going to do anything. I hate this about myself. There's so many things. And so I think, you know, you have to kind of learn to toughen up and adapt to the culture that we live in. You're not going to really run from it. You can try and live in a bubble, but this is just the times that we live in. Sex is profitable. It's there. It's going to be all around us. I don't know how for how much longer. I mean, you have to, you know, work a little bit harder to address the inner thing 